Bonjour, Carette here. I'm going to be showing you how I got this nice soft look using my Lancome Audacity in Paris palettes. It's really nice. I'm going to show you how I got this nice soft look. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's get right into it. Okay, so first what I like to do is start off with my Lancome Genie Feek Serum. I just do like two to uh, one to two drops, sorry, and just press it into my skin all over. Make sure you get it all over under your neck, all over. Then I like to go on with my Renergy Lift Moisturizer, which is really important because it has an SPF in it, so it protects you from the sun, which is really important. And then I like to use my NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in Milk. It's a white base that I like to use. It just makes the colors pop a little more. And just use the tip of your fingers to rub this all in, all over. Your fingertips are a little bit more warmer, so it just helps it smooth out a little bit better. Okay, so first color we're going to be using is this nice soft orange color. I'm going to use my Lancome brush. Oh, and this brush is really awesome. Um, it has two sides. It has a blender side and a flat head brush side, which is really awesome because you don't have to keep going back and forth switching and picking up another brush. You can just tap it and then continue to use it instead of having to keep switching different brushes out. So let's get into it. I'm going to use that nice soft orange color and put it in the crease of my eye and I'm just going to go back and forth window shield method with the blending side. And then I'm going to use this nice raspberry, soft raspberry color and just break that into the crease also mixing it with the orange. Yeah, this palette is really easy to use. So if you have any questions, just ask me down below. Then I'm going to go in with this nice soft pink with the flat side. I'm going to pack that on to my lid. With the flat side. Okay, so now I'm going to warm it up with this nice navy blue in this purple color. And I'm going to use the blender side of my brush and just pick that, those two colors up and end it on the end of my eyes. Just to warm it up and work it into your crease. And if you want a little bit more control, just flip it back and forth and then use your blending side or your flat side. So now we're going to clean it up, so we're going to go back with the pink a little bit and just fill that back in a little bit. And now, which one is one of the most important parts, is use this nice tan color. And we're going to erase away this fine line that I have here. Always make sure you blend out your lines. You don't want any blunt lines. So just use your blending brush and just blend that right on out with your tan color. It works as if it's like an eraser. See how it's making it more softer? After that, I'm gonna use my Beauty Supply Liquid Liner, and I'm gonna go halfway. I'm not gonna do a full line today, all the way across my eye, just half away so that way I can leave my eye open. Moving on, I'm going to be using my Cells Booster Mascara from Lancome. This is a conditioner for your lashes. Now what it does is helps protect your lashes from everyday wear and tear, and it also strengthens it also. And it gives you nice length, so it elongates your lashes to give it a nice full look. 
and I'm going to be using this um, the Finicels. This is from Lancome also, and the color is in black. This one gives you a nice separated look. And this is one of Lancome's top sellers. So make sure you apply this top and bottom. Moving on, I'm going to be using my Lancome Tinted All 24 Hour Foundation with my oil. Now to the exciting part, this oil is awesome. It is the Absolute Precious Oil. What you do is apply three drops of it into your foundation. Just three drops, okay? All you need is three. <laughs> okay, so this oil, it reveals a vital force of a golden glow into your skin, and it has over seven uh, botanical oils in it that lies at the heart of the formula, which leaves your skin more radiant and softer and supple. What I like to do is just mix just three little drops of it, guys. It's very concentrated oil. So you just apply it all over and just, you know, lightly pat it onto your skin. And also, another thing about this oil is that um, it's good for everybody. It's good for dry skin and it's good for combination skin to oily skin. It's good for all skin types. Now to set it, I'm just gonna use my Dual Finish um, Honey in the shade honey and it's applied this lightly all over my big brush. And remember if you have any questions just comment down below. Now for my highlighter I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Perky Collection with my Body Shop brush. I'm just going to pack this onto my cheekbone. I'm not going to put a whole lot, I'm just going to lightly brush it on my cheekbone just to give a little glow to my skin. I like to put it on my chest and I like to put it on my bridge of my nose sometimes. I put it on my cupid bow, on my lip. It just looks really nice. Makes your skin look really dewy. And for my blush, I'm going to be using from Lancome also. This one is called, doo -doo 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 -doo, what is it called? Mocha Havana, I think. If I got that wrong, I'll make sure to leave it in the description box down below so you can just click on it and check it out. And last but not least, I like to use my La Creme from Lancome. This one is really nice. It gives you that nice warm look in your waterline. I like to put my eyeliner in my waterline instead of putting it in my, and like on the bottom because I feel like it gives you a more cleaner look. And for my lipstick, I'm going to be using Sugar Maple. This is from Lancome also. It has like that nice warm orange tone to it with like a little bronze. I didn't think it was gonna come. I didn't know it was gonna come out this orange. So what I decided to do was put a little bit of um, pink lip gloss on it. This lip gloss is from Sally's. It's just a little cheap 99 cent lip gloss. But it's just gonna tone down this orange a little bit. And that's it, my lovelies. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here. Thank you for watching and enjoy. And remember, life is beautiful.